Well, new at 10 o'clock tonight, a card skimmer installed inside ATMs could soon be responsible for stealing money and financial information of hundreds of people living in Harris County. The group of suspects allegedly crossed the border from Canada wearing ankle monitors, which they cut off. They have a long criminal history in several countries, as a matter of fact. They eventually made their way here to Houston, where they would place credit card skimmers at several locations. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry breaks down this investigation. A police search warrant reveals this Sunnyside neighborhood home was home base for that prolific identity theft ring that used credit card skimmers. Inside of the home rented as an Airbnb is where investigators found what they're calling a skimmer manufacturing lab. The four suspects are believed to be connected to Romanian crime families involved in very organized criminal organizations that don't stay in the same state or even country for very long. This warrant shows when the group first set up shop in Houston and days before the first card skimmer was discovered in October, one of the suspects came here to this Pasadena car dealership. Using $15,000 cash and a fake Italian passport, investigators say he bought a Nissan crossover SUV. It would later be seen on surveillance cameras as the suspects placed skimmers seen here in an image from court documents at ATMs inside stores all over the Houston area. Investigators learned that Nissan was connected to skimmers found at these six Walgreens and one CVS. The Texas Financial Crimes Intelligence Center put out a crime bulletin on that car, and as the crew was being watched and tracked, a Pearland police officer spotted it near this Walgreens on Broadway and pulled them over. Police found two of the suspects, Dumitru Lixor and Marius Tika, with 379 cards that had altered magnetic strips believed to have stolen information from skimmed cards, a tool to extract deep insert skimmers, and a device to download victim card information, plus more than 14000 in cash. They got booked into the Brazoria County Jail, Lixer, with an $8 million bond, and Tika is being held on a $25 million bond. While other investigators kept eyes on the Airbnb, two other suspects pulled up and parked in the driveway. Gabriel Allen Volmachi and Alexandru Jean Marcou allegedly gave police fake Italian passports. Detectives got a search warrant revealing a skimmer building workshop in the living room, multiple completed skimmers and materials to build dozens more, more than 12,000 in cash and more than 400 prepay gift cards, which investigators believe are cloned with stolen data from skimmed cards. Records show Bomachi and Marku are charged with unlawful possession or use of card information, as well as unlawful interception, use or disclosure of electronic information but neither have been arrested on those charges. Prosecutors are asking for $20 million bonds for each of them because they allegedly ripped off their GPS ankle monitors when they crossed the Canadian border into Vermont. They are not U.S. citizens, and they possibly affected hundreds of innocent people who live in Harris County. In the Sunnyside neighborhood, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bryce.